tau, a tēnā no tātou katoa. Ngā uri me ngā hapu me ngā iwi o Taranaki. Ko Taranaki tō koutou maunga, ko Waitotara tō koutou awa, ko Parihaka tō koutou kāinga. Kei te tangi taku ngā kau mō ngā moi moi a tohu kākahi rāua ko te piti o rongo mai ngā manu e rua. Madam Speaker, it is with deep humility and privilege I stand and speak today to address Ngā Uri o Parihaka and this House with the first reading of Te Piri Hayata ki Parihaka and with a heaviness of heart for the enduring mamai and the enormity of injustice, a most grievous injustice inflicted, and a heart of hope the legacy of hope, the tikanga that was established by Tohu and Tawhiti at Parihaka, characterised by five key elements which gave rise to the notion of the Parihaka movement. Equality, collectivity, identity, goodwill, compassion and non-violence, and self-sufficiency. And it is Te Piri Hayata ki Parihaka, this Parihaka Reconciliation Bill, to record the elements of Te Kawanata o Runga, the deed of recognition, recognition and relationship agreement upon which the Crown and Parihaka agree to reconcile their relationship. A significant milestone for the Crown, Parihaka, Taranaki, Whanui and Aotearoa as a nation and also our global brothers and sisters who believe in Parihaka's legacy of hope and peace. I now turn to reflect on He, Paiang, he Puanga Hayata, the Parihaka Crown Reconciliation Ceremony. On Friday 9 June 2017, I stood alongside my Wanganui Ngāti Apapanaunga Kahurangi Tariana Turia. My predecessor, the Honourable Chester Burrows, the Honourable Chester Finlayson, the Honourable Andrew Little, Andrew, Chris, Andrew Little, and all whom I acknowledge for their contributions, and the many Crown officials as we gathered at the gates and in the calm, quiet, contemplative and compelling moment, the quell of karanga, a wave of women and children moving poignantly, powerfully over open terrain and hill to welcome us into the folds and embrace of Parihaka, symbolic of your movement in peace and your peace movement, the legacy of Tohu and Tawhiti never to be vanquished. I acknowledge you all, descendants, mokopuna and children of Parihaka, I acknowledge the National-led Government under the guidance of the Honourable Chris Finlayson alongside the Māori Party in coalition, striving for reconciliation within this bill. A confirmation of the commitments by the Crown and the people of Parihaka. And the Crown's apology and the legacy statement to Tikanga Tukuiho. And near closing, I draw to phase nine, which talks of the aspirations of Parihaka, focusing into the future. And I quote, listen, for you have a role to fulfill. It is a challenge left to you by your ancestors. Violent scars, while that show and care will be strong, self-assured and confident. Madam Speaker, I close with a few poignant lyrics from Tim Finn's song, the song of Parihaka. Look to the sky, the spirit of Tefiti. The endless tide is murmuring his name. I know Tefiti will never be defeated, and even at the darkest hour, his presence will remain. I'll sing for you a song of Parihaka. One day you'll know the truth. They can't pull out the roots. Come and take me home to weep for my lost brother. They gather still the clouds of Taranaki, his children's children wearing the white plume. 
I'll sing for you a song of Parihaka. Come to Parihaka. Weep for my lost brother. The spirit of nonviolence has come to fill the silence. Come to Parihaka. It is with humility and a hopeful heart that I commend this bill to the House. I call the Honourable Mecca Faitiri. Ngai te whare tēnā koea, 